Our gold medal wine is, is an outstanding wine of its, of its type and, um, and again I think for me a, a wine that gets a gold medal for instance really does stand out because wine is always about context. When you have 20 or 30 wines in front of you from a particular region, the wines that stand out truly are the exceptional ones. So um, a, a gold medal winning wine is, is a wine that really um, shows its pedigree and shows its class in the context of its region um, and, and, and country. Well, what we're looking for when we're judging wines is, um, I think, for something that's going to take a bronze medal, needs to be delicious and engaging and, 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 and fun to drink, really. If you're going up to a silver, then it either needs to have a sense of the place it's made or a degree of seriousness which takes it beyond that. Uh, those, those elusive and rare gold medals really belong in something which goes into a category of being something world class. I think it has to be an absolutely outstanding, delicious beverage at the end of the day. I think really it just has to be out, outstanding, you have to, it has to give you joy. Ooh, it's a wine that makes you smile, a wine that it has balance, elegance and you know, the full package really. Most wines are very competently made, but certain other wines which are of gold medal quality have that little sort of extra uh, bit that you're looking for I think. It needs to be a really, really well-made wine to be a bronze, but it might not necessarily have to excite you. For a silver, there has to be a bit of excitement, plus a really, really well-made wine, and something that you would happily, happily go back to glass after glass. Um, gold needs to be something, it needs to evoke something in you that's kind of a step further again. It needs to bring in a little bit of emotional kind of response, as well as you thinking, God, this is great wine, really, really well made, but it does something to you on another level. It needs to be exciting. To get a medal, I think your heart has to miss a beat, you know. You have to taste the wine and say, oh wow, you know, this has just got something about it. I don't know what it is. It's something you can't, even as a wine judge, you've got to write down notes, of course, and describe what it is you've found. But sometimes it's just, it's just this imperceptible something uh, that it makes your heart miss a beat. Mm. Purity, um, character, um, tradition, um, you know, um, a sense of place. Um, all the elements really, tannins and acidity and fruit and so on, which are supposed to be the hallmarks of vintage, are important. Um, plus a bit of, you know, a bit of you know, pizzazz and, uh, and, and difference which right, stands about for the crowd. For gold medal winning wines, it needs to have really that wow factor. For all wines that get medals, you're looking for that balance um, of, say, fruit concentration versus fresh acidity. If it's red, a good tannin structure. You're looking for a long length, long fruity length. For gold, you know, extra levels of complexity. Just that real, you know, what more do you want from this wine? But we're just looking for a wine that really sings to us.